pretty well into the camp now. Over here in Melbourne, how are you, how are you settling in? Yeah, I've settled into the jet lag, so gone now. So I had a good night's sleep last night, so no, we're looking forward to it, and yeah, it's been good. In terms of preparation, first field session there on the, on Monday, yeah, how did that go? Yeah, it was good. I mean, it was good to get back out there and throw the ball around. I mean, it's been a longer uh, travel, but no, we, so we've settled in all right, and we're looking forward to playing now. For you personally, playing in the World Cup Challenge is the sort of game you, you joined the Rhinos for. Exactly, I mean, that's why you want to be involved in big games, big spectacles. And they really was at a press day yesterday and they talked up, it's been one of the big games and a big crowd, so we're looking forward to it. We've got a chance to see Amy Park as well, uh, be exciting. They've talked about 20,000 fans in there. Yeah, definitely, it's an impressive stadium, so we're just looking forward to testing ourselves against the best and hopefully we can get the result. The game itself, Max talks about the photo in the press that we are going to have to do something different and come up with something special to beat Melbourne. Is that how you see it? Um, probably, yeah, but we're going to have to step our game up, obviously, from last week. We build on last week and um, we're glad we've come in with two wins, but we know it's going to be a tough test. Uh, like I said, they're the best in the world in the, in, the, in, the, in the competition, so we know we have to beat them. The World Cup back in December, England came so close to beating the Australians. Does that give the lads a, a boost knowing that we can go toe to toe with the, with the best in the NRL? Yeah, I think so. I think we're all flying the flag for England at the minute and we're looking forward to doing a good job and putting a good account of ourselves and hopefully we can get the two and get the one. And we've got the two games under our belt. They they've only had one pre-season run out. Do you think that could have an impact? Uh, I don't think so. I think they were talking up a little bit yesterday, but I don't think so. I think we're they'll be pretty fresh and ready to go. And they've obviously had a good pre-season, which they were talking it up. So no, we're looking forward to it. Cooper Cronk's gone from their halves, uh, but the, the talk here in Melbourne is about the guys who are going to replace the young lads, giving a chop cheer. That'll, that'll make them a, a dangerous threat on Friday. Yeah, I think so. They've got they've got a big pool of players that they can pick from, and I think they've had. They've been drip feeding them in a couple of times last year and they're ready to go. So, no, it's going to be tough. We know whoever's going to be in that shirt is going to be playing well and we know we have to do a job to win.